According to our known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too smart to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway. Because bees don't care. What humans think is impossible. Yellow black, yellow black, yellow black, yellow black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up, shake it up a little. Buddy, breakfast is ready. Coming. Hang on a second. Hello, Barry, Adam. Can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's to graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card. Or bees. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going on here. You got lint on your fuzz. Ooh, that's B. <coughs> Wave to us. We'll be in the row 818,000. Bye. Buddy, I told you. Stuff lying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzzel? A little special day graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school. Three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college, I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did come back different. Hi Betty. Artie, growing a moustache. Looks good. You are about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows. You sting someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hot head. Guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this inco operating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well Adam, today we're men. We are. B men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished bees. Please welcome Dean Boswell. Welcome the new Hive City graduating class of 9.15. That concludes our ceremonies and begin your career at Onyx Industries. Will we pick our jobs today? I heard it's just orientation. Heads up, here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it'll be like? A little scary. Welcome to Onyx, a division of UNESCO and a part of the Hexagon Group. This is it. Wow, wow, we know that you, as B, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you could work for your whole life. Only begins when our valiant pollen jokes bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, scent adjusted, and bubble contoured into a soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow you know as Ani, that girl was hot. She's my cousin. Is she? Yes, we're all cousins. Right, you're right. At Onyx, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bees' existence. These bees are stress testing the new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancement. The Krellman. What does that do? Catches that little stand of honey that hangs under you after hangs after you pour it. Save us millions. Can anyone work on the Krellman? Kral of course. Most bees jobs are small ones. But bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully. You'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life. The same job the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy that happy to know that bees as species haven't had one day off in twenty seven million years. So you'll well just work us to death. We'll sure try. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever? That's an insane choice to have choice to have to make. 
I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. <coughs> but Adam, how could they never have told us that? Why would you have questioned anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on earth. You'd ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know. But you, you, you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, those are pollen jokes. Wow. I've never seen them in this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey jokes. Hi jokes. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder they w where they were. I don't know. That day is not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a Berlin jocks. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look, there's more pollen, de pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just that a symbol. This make too much of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it, and the ladies see you wearing it. Those are ladies, aren't they our cousins too? Distant. Distant. Look at these two. Couple of hive Aries. Let's have fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen joke. Yeah, once a bear pinned me against a mushroom. He had a paw on my throat. And with the other, he was slapping me. Oh my. I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today. Wasn't it, comrades? Yes, yeah, gusty. We're hitting this a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, eh? Barry! A bottle jump for us. But maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You're not. We're going 0900 at Z J gate. What do you think, buzzy boy? Are you bra are you B enough? I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. Hey Onyx. Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in? Well, there's a lot of choices. But you only get only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about studying. You grab that stick and you just move it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know that. The more I think about it, maybe the honey friend, honey fit just isn't right for me. You were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Jeanette, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Buddy, you're so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey, our son, the stirrer. You're going to be a stirrer? No one's listening to me. Well, till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm gonna get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax. Shave my antennae. Shake up with the grasshopper. Get a gold tooth and call everybody dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on. All the good jobs will be gone. Right, right. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stunt B, boring, stutter, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on, to the left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. A step to the side. What did you get? Picking the crowd out. Stellar. Wow, couple of newbies. Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you go. Oh my, what's available? Restroom attendants open. 
not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the Krellman clanman? Sure, you're on. I'm sorry. Krellman just closed out. Wax monkey is always open. The Krellman opened up again. What happened? A bee died. Makes an opening. See? He's dead. Another dead one. Deadly. Deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up, dead from the neck down. That's life. Oh, this is so hard. Eating, cooling, stunt bee, borer, stirrer, umming, inspector number seven, lint coordinator, stripe, supervisor, might wrangler, buddy. What do you think I should do? Buddy? Buddy? Alright, we've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are, where are you? I'm going out. Out? Out where? Out there. Oh no, I have to, before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die, are you crazy? Hello, another car coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's Korean Delhi on 83rd, they catch their roses today. Hey guys, look at that, isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it son. The flight takes restricted. It's okay, Lo. We're gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, aren't you? Yes, I knew. Yeah. Just initi initiated. Thank you. Okay. You got a rain advisory today. As you all know, bees cannot fly in lane. So be careful. As always, watch your brooms. Honey sticks, dogs, birds. Bears and bats. Also, like a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's on home because of it. Babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And remember for your rookies, be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. Alright. Lunch positions. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Like in yellow. Hello. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah. Bring it on. Wind, check. Antennae, check. Nectar pack, check. Wings, check. Stinger, check. Scared out of my pants. Shorts, check. Okay, ladies. Let's move it out. Pound those petunias. You striped stem suckers. All of you, train those for hours. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue. I feel so fast and free. Box hide. Wow, flowers. This is blue reader. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and old. Roses. 30 degrees, Roger. Bringing it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's a bit of a kick. This is one nectar collector. Ever see pollu pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle it over there, over here. Maybe a dash over there. A pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen, more flower, more nectar, more honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Copy daisies. Don't we need those? Copy that visual. Wait, one of those flowers seem to be on the move. Say that again. You're reporting a moving flower. Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the cluest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees. Candy brain, get off there. Problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. You're way out of position, Loki. Coming in at you like a missile. Help you. Help me. 
I don't think these are for hours. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing up, honey, because you're about to eat it. Oh, wowzer. Gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm moving. Hi, bee. It's back here. It's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spray him, Granny. What are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I got, I gotta get home. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Mayday, mayday. Be going down. Can, can you close the window, please? Can, could you please the window, please? Check out my new resume. I made it into the Forza brochure. You see, Forza out. Oh no, more humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time, this time, this time, this time, this time, this. Drapes. This is Daria Boloku. It's fantastic. And she got all my special skills, even my top 10 favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I leave a job interview, they're, they're flabbergasted. I can't believe what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun being having a big 75 on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. P. Stand back. These are winter boots. Wait, don't kill him. You know that I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life have less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of fleeing, feeling. My brochure. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. My whole face will could puff off. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also special skill. Right, bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week, yogurt tonight, yogurt night. Sure can. You know, whatever. You could put caro chips on there. Bye. Supposed to be less calories. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. Alright, here it goes. Now, how would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a bee law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No. Yes. No. Do it. I can't. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's no good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. I. I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. You're it's fine. I know that I'm dreaming. But I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am. I'm not supposed to be doing this, but they were trying, all trying to kill me. And if you, if it wasn't for you, I had to thank you. And it's just how I was raised. That's a, that was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah, I'm talking to a bee, and the bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. Same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada, honey, you pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah, bees are funny. If he didn't laugh, we cry with what we have to deal with. <coughs> anyway, can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? I don't want to put you out. It's not trouble. It takes two minutes. 
It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want a rum cake? I shouldn't. Have some. No, I can't. Come on. I'm trying to use a couple of micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. <coughs> Are you light? No. He's making the tie in the cab as they're flying up Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up the stairs into the church. The wedding is on. And he says, Watermelon? I thought you said quartermelon. Why would I may why why would I marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke? That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what are you gonna do, Betty? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part part for the hive, but I can't do the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or doctor. But I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. My new queen just elected with that same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, there's my hive right there. See it? You're in Ship Meadow. Yes, I'm right off the Turtle Pond. No way, I know that area. I lost a door in there before. Why do girls put rings in their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You're right, ma'am. Oh yeah, fine. Just having cup, two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up the rest of my life. Are you? Can I piece up this with me? Sure. Here, have a crumb. Thanks. Yeah. Alright. Well then, I guess I'll see you around. Or not. Okay, Betty. Thank you. And thank you very much again. Thank you so much again for before. <coughs> oh, that. That was nothing. Well, it's not nothing. But anyway, this can't possibly work. It's all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave, pull the shoot. Sound amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans, I can't believe you were with the humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy giant things. They drive crazy. Do they try and kill you, like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How do you get back? Porter, you did it. I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience. Now you can pick out your job and be normal. Well, 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 I met someone. You did? Was she beige? A wasp? Your parents will kill you. No, 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 no. Not a wasp. Spider? I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it's shady, or this thing with eight legs and all. I can't get by that face. So, who is she? She's human. No, no. That's Billo. You wouldn't break a Billo. Her name's Vanessa. Oh boy. She's so nice. She's a florist. And oh no. You're dating a human florist. We're not dating. You're flying outside the hive, talking to humans that attack our homes with power washer and M80s. One eight a tick of dynamite. She saved my life. She understand me. This is over. It is. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. It was so stingingy, stripey. And that's what that's not what they eat. That's what they further fall off what they eat. Do you know what a cinnamon is? No. It's a brand and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up. 
sit down really hot listen to me we are not them we're us there's us and there's them yes but who can deny heart that is yearning <coughs> there is no yearning stop yearning listen to me you got to start thinking be my friend thinking be 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 there he is is in the pool you know what your problem is Perry I gotta start thinking B how much longer with this go on it's been three days why aren't you working I got a uh, I got a lot of big life decision to think about what life you have no life you have no job your belly will be would it kill you to make your little honey Barry, come out your father's talking to you Martin would you talk to him Barry I'm talking to you you coming got everything or set go ahead I'll catch up don't be too long watch this Vanessa we're still here I told you not to yell at him he doesn't respond to yelling then why yell at me but you because you don't listen I'm not listening to this sorry I've got to go where are you going I'm meeting a friend a girl is that why you can't decide bye I just hope she's peace they have huge parade of flowers every year in Passandia to be in the in the tournament of roses which every floor is dream up on a float surrounded by flowers crowds sharing a tournament do roses compete in athletic events no all right i got one i come you don't fry anywhere everywhere it's exhausting why don't you run everywhere it's faster yeah okay i see i see all right you're done tv you can just freeze live tv that's insane you don't have that you have hypo but it's a disease a horrible horrible disease oh my dumb bees you must want to sting all those jerks we try not to sting it's usually fatal for us so you have to watch out your for watch your temper think very carefully you kick over take a walk write an angry letter and throw it out work it through like any emotion anger jealousy lust <coughs> oh my goodness are you okay yeah what is wrong with you it's a bug it's not bothering anybody get out of here you creep what was that a pick and safe circular yeah it was how did you know it felt like well, about 10 pages 75 is pretty much our limit you've really got that down to science I lost a cousin to Italian Vogue I'll bet what in the name of mighty Hercules was that is this <coughs> how did it get here how to be golden blossom rare Le Leota private select is it that actor I never heard of him why is it here for people wait it you don't have enough food of your own well yes how do you get it bees make it I know who makes it and it's hard to make it thus heating cooling stirring you need her crown and thing it's organic it's organic it's just honey berry just what bees don't know about this this is stealing a lot of stealing you've taken our own schools hospital this is all we have and it's on sale I'm getting to the bottom of this I'm getting to the bottom of all this hey actor you're almost done almost he's here I sense it well I guess I'll go home now now <coughs> and just leave this nice honey out with no one around you're a busted box boy I knew I heard something so you can talk 
I can't talk. And now you're still talking. Where are you getting all the, getting the sweet stuff? Who is your supplier? I don't understand. I said we are friends. The last thing we want to do is upset bees. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my iguana. Ignacio. Ignacio. Where is the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Crazy person. What horrible thing has happened here? These faces. They never knew what hit them. And now, they're on the road to nowhere. Uh, excuse me. Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They still wipe anything that moves. They will right wipe anything that moves. Where are you headed? To Oni Farms. I'm onto something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood. Crazy stuff. Blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. And you? He really is dead. Alright. Uh oh. What was that? What is that? Oh no. A wiper. Triple blade. Triple blade? Jump on. It's your only chance, B. What does anything have to do with so dark and so clean? How much do you think? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes. Stick your head out the window. From NPR News in Washington. Um, or or Carl Kaisel Kaiswell K fuck. I'm Carl Kaiswell Kaiswell. But don't kill no more bugs. B moose blood guy. You heard something like what? Like tiny screaming. Turn up the radio. What's up, B boy? A blood. Just a row of honey jars. As far as the eye could see. Wow. I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, that one is ours. Bees hang tight. We're all jammed in. <coughs> it's a close community. Not us, man. We on our own. Every mosquito on his own. What if you get in trouble? You a mosquito, you in trouble. Nobody likes us. They just smack. It's your mosquito, smack, smack. At least you're out in the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up. Get with moths, a dragonfly. Mosquito girl, the one mosquito. The one no mosquito. You got to be kidding me. Moose blood's about to leave the building. So long, baby. Hey guys, moose blood. I knew I'd get you all down here. Did you bring your crazy straw? <coughs> we throw it in jars, slap a label on it, and it's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A beast got a brain, uh, the size of pinhead. They're pinheads. Pinhead. Check out the new smoker. Oh sweet, that's the one you want. The Thomas 3000. A smoker. 90 pops a minute, semi-automatic, twice the nicotine, all, all the tar. A couple breaths of this could knock them right out. They make the honey, and we make the money. They make the money, and we make the honey? I mean, fuck. They make the honey, and we make the money? Oh my. What's going on? Are you okay? Yes. It doesn't last too long. <coughs> Do you know we're in a fake hive with fake waters? Our queen was moved here. We have no choice. This is your queen? That's a man in woman's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no. There's hundreds of them. Bee honey. Our honey is being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse this is worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. <coughs> Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you humans were taking out honey? That's a rumor. 
Do these look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. These are obviously doctor photos. How did you get mixed up on all these? He's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend and they make out. Make out? Barry! <coughs> we do not. You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, this is what you want to do with your life? I want to do it for our, all our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so overworked. Your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to? What right do they have to our honey? We live in on two cups a year. They put it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. <coughs> Even if it's true, what can one bee do? Sting, sting them anywhere. Sting them where it would really hurt. In the face, the eye, that would hurt. No, up the nose, that's killer. There's only one place you can sting to humans, the one place where it matters. Hive at five, the hive's only full hour action you source. Source. <coughs> no more be no more be beards with bob bubble bumble at an, another desk. Weather with storm stinger. Sports with buzz larvae. And Jeanette Chug Chung. Good evening, I'm Bob Bob Bumble and I'm Jeanette Chung. A tri country B Barry Benson intend to sue human race for stealing our honey, packaging it and profiting from it illegally. Tomorrow night I'm B Larry King. We'll have three former queens here in our studio discussing their new book Classy Ladies out this week in on hexagon tonight we're talking to Barry Benson did you ever think I'm a kid from a hive I can't do this bees have never been afraid to change the world what about B Columbus B Gandhi B Bejus what Bejus where I'm from we're nev we'd never sue humans we were thinking of stick bars or candy stores. How old are you? The big community is supporting you in this case, which will be the trial of the bee century. You know, they were Larry King in the human world too. It's a common name. Next week, he looks like you and has a slow and suspenders and colored dots. Next week, glasses coach on the bottom from the guest even though you just hurt him. Baird next week. They're scary, hairy and leafy and here live here live. Always lean forward, pointy shoulders, quinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis you attack at a point of weakness. That was my grandmother, Ken. She's eighty one. Honey her back, back, back hands a joke. I'm not gonna take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that the same P? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello, hello, P. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland, size ten and a half, five brim sole, I believe. What does he talk again? Listen, you better go cause we're, bu we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Bye bye. Why is our yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, and Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting. How many sugars? Just one. I try not to use the competition. So why are you helping me? Bees have good qualities and it takes mind, minds out to shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloons but balloon buckets now. Those are great if you're three. 
and artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Ben Stinger's pointless pollination. We must hate those fake things. Nothing worse than Daffoli that that's had some that's had work done. Maybe this could make up for it a little bit. This lawsuit's a pretty big deal, I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with humans, they won't be able to say, "Honey, I'm home," without paying a royalty. That's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan, where the world anxiously waits because, for the first time in history, we will hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You think three billion multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everybody to need to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know. I just gotta chill. Well, if it isn't for the B team, you boys work on this. All right. <coughs> The Honorable Judge Bumbleton pres presiding. All right, case number four thousand four hundred seventy-five, Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson vs. B. Downey Industry, is now in session. Mr. Mon Montag Murray, you representing the five food companies collectively. A privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing all the bees of the world? I'm kidding. Yes, your honor. <coughs> We're ready to proceed. Mr. Montauk Murray, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it was a man's divine right to benefit from the bounty nature of God put before us. If you lived in topsy turvy world, Mr. Benson imagines, to think of what it mean. <coughs> I would have to negotiate with the sick one for the elastic of my breeches. Docking B. How could we know this isn't sometimes holographic motion picture? Motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry. They could, they could be, they could be using laser beams, robots, ventriloquism, cloning. For all we know, he could be on steroids. Mr. Benson, ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee, and it's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it, we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this in this room who think they can take it from us. Cause we're the little we're the little guys. I'm hoping that after this is all over, you see how by taking our honey, you're not only taking everything we have, but everything we are. <coughs> I wish he dressed that like all time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Claus van der Hayden of Honey Farms. Big company you have. I suppose so. I see you also own Honey Burton and Hon Honron. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper. I find that a very disturbing term. Don't you imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? No, I couldn't hear you. No, no. Because you don't free bees, you keep bees. Not only that, it seems you thought a bear would, uh, would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Yogi bear, fuzzy bear, build a bear. You mean like this? Bears kill, bears kill bees. How do you like have? How do you like his head crushing through your living room, biting into your couch, 
spitting out your throat pillows. That's enough. Or take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? I was with a band called the police. But you've never been police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have yet another example a bee culture casually stolen by human for nothing more than prance about the stage name. <coughs> oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Summer Sumner. That's not his real name, you idiot. Mr. Leota, first, belated con congratulations on your Emmy win for guest spot on your ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. <coughs> I see from your resume that you are the devilishly handsome with a churning inner turmoil that you are ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet, it isn't. But is this what you, what is come to you, for you, exploiting tiny helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your parts and learn your lines, sir? Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. This isn't good, fella. This is a bad fella. Why doesn't someone jump st step on this creep and we can all go home? Order in this court. You're thinking it. Order, order, I say. Say it, Mr. Diota. Please sit down. I think it was an awful noise of that bear to pinch in like that. I think the jury's on your side. Are we doing this right legally? I'm a florist. Right. Well, here's to a great team. To a great team. Well, hello. Ken, hello. I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I got a battery. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left. I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. <coughs> so I hear you're quite tennis, quite a tennis player. I'm not much of a game for myself. Game myself, the ball's a little grabby. That's why. That's where I usually sit, right there. <coughs> Ken, Barry was looking at your resume, and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what what you're doing? I know how hard is it is to find the right job. We have that in common, do we? We have 100% employment rate, employment, but we do jumps are like taking the curve out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Again, I let Barry borrow, borrow your razor for his fuss. I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I just had, I just about had it with your little mind games. What's that? Italian Vogue. Mamma mia. That's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Remember what Van said? Why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny, I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you like the smell of flames? Not so much. Water bug. Not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing chopstick hat. This is pathetic. I got issues. Well, well, well. A loyal flush. You're bluffing. Am I? Soft stuff. So surf up, dude. Poo water. That powder is gnarly. Gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know, 
I don't even like Connie. I don't need it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? There's other bugs in, there's other bugs in your life? No. But there's, there are other things bugging me in life. And you're one of them. Fine. Talking bees. No yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding the, on this emotional Laura coaster. Goodbye, Ken. <coughs> and for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweetener made by men. I'm sorry all about that. I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh well. <coughs> Are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montauk Marie is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry Benson be on the stand to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the nice best lawyers. Yeah. Leighton, you've gotta weave some magic with this jury, or it's gonna be all over. Don't worry. The only thing I have to do to turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. <coughs> you got tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B. I'll ask you what I think we'd I'd like to all know. We'd all like to know. What is your exactly is your relationship with to that woman? We're friends. Good friends? Yes. How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little bedbug? I've seen a bee documentary or two. From what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to our, the bee children? Yeah, but so those are your real parents. Oh, Barry. Yes, they are. Hold me back. You're an illegitimate Illegitimate, illegitimate B. Archie Benson. He's denouncing bees. Don't y'all date your cousins? Objection. I'm going to pincushion on pincushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I'm hit. Order. Order. The venom. The venom is coursing through my veins. I've been felled by a winged beast of destruction. You see, you can treat them like equals. They're striped savages. Stinging's the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come forth to suck the poison from my heaving buttocks? I will have order and discord. Order. Order, please. The case of honeybees versus human race took a pointed turn against bees yesterday when one of the legal teams down lay turn one of yesterday when one of their legal teams down a latent tea mock Montauk Marie. Hey, hey buddy buddy I mean ah shit Hey buddy Hey Is there much pain? <coughs> yeah I I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What matters is you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria downstairs. It's in a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still on it. What was, was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all, all adrenaline and then... And then it's to ask to see. All right. <coughs> you think it was all trap? Of course. I'm sorry. I flew us right into this. What were we thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs on the in this world. What will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put roaches in motors. That doesn't sound too bad. Adam. Check they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my. Could you get a nurse to close that window? The smoke. 
Bees don't smoke, right? Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But some bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. Is it? It's not over. Get dressed. We've got to go somewhere. <coughs> Get back in the car and stall. Stall it or any way you can. And assuming you've done step correct correctly, you're ready for the tub. Mr. Freeman. Yes. Yes, your honor. Where is your rest of your team? Well, your honor, that's interesting. Bees are trained to fly absurdly. As a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard a funny story about your honor. Haven't these ridiculous but bug taken off enough time of enough of this course valuable time? <coughs> How much longer would we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients who learn legitimate businesses. I move for complete dismissal of this entire case. <laughs> Mr. Freeman, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montauk Murray's motion. But you can't. You have a terrific case. Where is your proof? Where is your evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, your honor. You want sm you want a smoking gun? Here is your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What this? This harmless little contraption. This couldn't hurt the fly, let alone a bee. Look at what has happened to bees who have ever ever to bees who have ev never been asked smoking or none. Is this what nature intended for us? To be forcefully addicted to smoke machines and man-made wooden sled work camps, <laughs> living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man. What are we gonna do? He's playing the special card. Ladies and gentlemen, please free the bees, 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 free the bees. Free the, bees. the court find in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. I know you could do it. High five. Sorry. I'm okay. You know what this means? All the honey will finally belong to the bees. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy per perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? Alright. One at a time. Barry, what are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph, Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. What if, if, what if Mantok Mon is right? What do you mean? We've been living the B wave for a long time. 27 million years. <coughs> Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand as a settlement? First, we'll demand a complete shutdown of all B work camps. Then we won back honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of the bears as more and as anything more than a filthy, smelly, bad breath stinking machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take him out. He'll have na nauseous for a few hours. Then he'll be fine, and we will no longer tolerate any negative nicknames. <coughs> but it just prints about stage name, unnecessary inclusion of honey in bogus health products, and la di da human tea time snack garnishments. Can't breathe. Bring it, bring it, boy, bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it, Mr. Buzzwell. We have passed three cups, but there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down? We'll nev we've never shut down. Shut down the shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do we do? Cannonball. We're shutting down honey production. Mission abort. Aborting pollination and detector detail. Returning to base. 
Adam, you wouldn't believe how much Johnny was out there. Oh yeah? What's going on? With everybody? Are they out celebrating? They're home. They don't know what to do. Laying out, sleeping in. I heard your uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with Gricken. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I like, I think, sometimes I think. So what if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's, a, it's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. This was our, this was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I said their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. <coughs> you don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This. What happened here? This is not the half of it. Oh no. Oh my. They're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think is th this is? That is... You know, I'm gonna guess bees. Bees? Specifically, me. I didn't think bees n not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's just not flowers, fruits, vegetables. They are not bees. It's, that's our whole SAT test right there. Take away produce that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, the human species. So if there's no more pollination, pollination growth goes south fair, couldn't it? I know this is also partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? How do we do it? I sting you, you step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry. Sorry, I gotta get going. I have to open my mouth to and talk. Vanessa, Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Rose Parade in Pesandina. Pesandina. They've moved it to this week because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I never meant to turn out like this. I never meant it to turn out like this. I know, me neither. Tournament of Roses. Roses can do sports. Wait a minute. Roses? 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 Vanessa? Roses? Barry? Roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers. Bee. Pollen. I know. That's why uh, this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Barry? Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is the total disaster. All my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I've ruined the planet. I want to help you with the flower shop. I made it worse. Actually, it's completely shut closed down. I thought maybe you are remodeling. But I have another idea. It's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. Alright. Name the roses. The roses have pollen. I know every bee, planet, and flower bud in this park. <coughs> oh, I know every bee, plant, and a flower bud in this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got back here with what we've got. Bee, park, pollen, flowers, repollination across the nation. Tournament of Roses, Pisandina, California. They got nothing but nothing but flowers, floats and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD, official floral business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am. Nice brooch. Thank you. It was a gift. Once inside, we just picked the right float. How about the princess and the bee? I could be the princess, and you could be the bee. I got it. Where should we sit? What are you? I believe I'm the bee. The bee? 
it goes under the matrices not in this fairy tale sweetheart i'm getting the marshal you do that this whole parade is fiasco let's see what this baby will do hey what are you doing then we all do this blending with the traffic without causing without arousing suspicion once in the airport there's no stopping us stop security you and your insect bag you bag your float yes has it been your possession the entire time would you remove your shoes remove your stinger that's part of me i know just having some fun enjoy your flight then if you're lucky we'll have just enough pollen to do the job can you believe how lucky we are we just have enough pollen to do the right job to the job i think this is gonna work it's got to work attention passengers this is captain scott and we have a better bit of a bad weather in new york it looks like we'll, ex we'll experience a couple hours delay mary these are cut flowers with no water they'll never make it i gotta get up there and talk to them be careful can i get help with this guy more magazine i like to order the talking inflatable nose and ear in ear hair trimmer captain i'm in a real situation what you say hi nothing b don't freak out my entire species what are you doing Wait a minute, I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would a Miss Vanessa Bloom in 24B please report to the cockpit? And please hurry. What happened here? There was a dustbuster, a toupee, and a rife raft exploded. One spur bald. Once in a boat, they're both unconscious. It is another B joke. No, no one's flying the plane. This is JFK Control Center, flight 356. What's your status? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious. So is the co pilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson. From the Oni trial? Oh, great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. She got giant wings, huge engines. I can fly a plane. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry. We're headed into something light, some lighting, lightning. This is Bum Bum Bob Bumble. We have some late breaking news from JFK Airport, where a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory, that's Barry. He's intending to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and incapacitated incapac incapacitated flight crew the flowers we have a storm in the area and two individuals at the controls with absolutely no flight experience just a minute there's a bee on the plane i'm quite familiar with mr mr benson and his non no account com comrades they're done enough damage but isn't he your only hope technically a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are those too small. Haven't we heard this a million times? <coughs> the surface area of wings and the body makes no, makes no sense. Get on the air. Got it. Stand by. We're going live. The way we work may be a mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees and doing, doing a lot of smart jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. More than we realized to us, to everyone. That's why I want to get the bees back to working together. 
that's the B way. We're not made of jello. We keep behind the fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. Left, right, down, over, over, forget over. This is so hard. Beep beep, beep beep. Betty, what happened? Wait, I think we were on autopilot the whole time. They may be, may have been helping me. And now we're not. So it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind the fellow. Move it out, move out. Our only chance is if I do, if I do what I do. Copy me with my, with the wings of the plane. Don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate with the panicky tone on your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, put yourself together. You have to snap out of it. Snap out. You snap out of it. 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 Hold it. Why? Come on, it's my turn. How is the plane's flying? I don't know. Hello? Benson, got any flowers for happy occasion in there? The ball and jokes. They do get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. Alright. Let's drop this thing again on the back plank top. Where? I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on, you got to think B, Betty. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Wait a minute. I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's strong. Pulling me. Like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose down. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. What in the world is on that on the tarmac? Get some rights on that. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Out the engine. We're, we're going in the pee power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good, good. Easy now. That's it. Then not that flower. Ready? Full reverse. Spin it around. Not that flower. The other one. Which one? That flower. I'm aiming at the flower. That's a fat guy in flower shirt. I'm in the giant pulsating flower made of millions of bees. Pull forward, nose down, tail up, rotate it around. This is insane, Betty. This, this is the only way I know how to fly. Am I a cuckoo, cuckoo kachu or this plane flying in an insect-like pattern? Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in, woman. Come on already. Betty, we did it. You told me how to fly. Yes, no high five. Right. Betty, it worked. Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course I saw the flower. That was genius. Thank you. But we're not done yet. Listen, everyone. This runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flower available anywhere on Earth. <clears throat> that means this is our last chance. We are the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. If we're gonna survive as species, this is our moment. What do you say? Are we going to be bees or just museum of natural history keychains? We're bees. Keychain. Follow me. Except keychain. Hold on, Betty. Here. You earned this. Yeah. I'm a pollen joke. And it's a perfect fit. I got to do <coughs> all I gotta do are the sleeves. Oh yeah. That's our Betty. Mom, the bees are back. If anybody need to make a call, now's the time. I've got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. <coughs> Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I can I help who's next? Would you like to have some honey with that? It is be approved. Don't forget these. Milk, cream, cheese, it's out of me. And I don't need to see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I have no idea. I had no idea. Betty, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? 
My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry I'm late. He's a lawyer too. I was already a blood sucking parasite. All I need to, needed was a briefcase. <laughs> Have a great afternoon. Betty, I got this huge tulip order and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Benny. Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Betty. Can I help who's next? Alright, scramble jokes. It's time to fly. Thank you, Betty. That bee is leaving my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was trying to get out of that office. You have got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B? Me? Hold it. Let's just drop for a second. Hold it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Everyone, can we stop here? I'm not making a major life decision during a production number. Alright, take ten, everybody. Wrap it up, guys. I had virtually no rehearsal for that. <coughs> Jesus, fuck. Oh,